Thanks for joining us this time. Jay's going to be talking about the Western Pack. The Western Hunter is designed as the smaller of the day pack series without the meat compartment in a 2,000 cubic inch pack with full features. It's got all the features. The only feature this pack doesn't have that the Canadian and the Alaskan have is the expansion meat chamber. And you're going to want to check that out on one of the other queue ups on the on the, the main menu. You want to check out one of the, the either the Canadian or the Alaskan and see how that meat chamber works. This pack doesn't have that. However, this pack has been designed and, and made for big game hunting out west and I've used it a lot for whitetail hunting and it works great. Uh, you want to have something to carry all your gear in. Again, 2,000 cubic inches. Starting at the top, we have a pocket in the top here. This pocket is designed for your spotting scope. What we want to do is we want to get that spotting scope out, keep it protected and get it out without having to get into the main part of the pack. The main part of the pack, I'm going to carry the stuff in I need if I'm going to stop for lunch or whatever. I want to be able to carry everything else on the outside. Spotting scope pocket on the top. On the side of the pack, on the right side of the pack, on this bottom zipper, there is a pocket that will roll out of here like this for you. This pocket is designed for the butt of a rifle. And what you do is you slip the butt of the rifle in there, and we don't have one. No. <laughs> and then it's pretty easy. You don't have to have one. Slide your rifle in here, butt of the rifle. These two compression straps will go around. You don't have to use them both. You're just going to come around the rifle and you're going to pull that in. It's going to make that rifle carry right along the pack really nice. One of the other features this pack, this bag pocket on the lower works for, is if you're carrying a big uh, spotting scope and tripod, your tripod fits in here. Most of the tripods will fit down this pocket yeah. and you can carry your tripod on the outside of the pack. So this is the rifle slash tripod pocket. And if you don't have either one and you want to carry a water bottle in it, it works for that too. Oh, it would work for a water bottle, yes, wouldn't it? it? And you can get it out. You yep. can get a hold of it. It's right there. Fishing rod. Anything longer that you're going to carry is going to work good and it's going to lower it down away from the pack so it's not so high above your head. On the front or the face of the pack, there's a bow carrying pocket that comes out right here. It's adjustable, so it's going to fit the parallel limb bows. It's a pretty easy where our bow go. That bow just sets right down in that pocket. If you're a lefty, you're going to go up and down with it. If you're a righty, it's going to be quiver out. Quiver out either way. Um, if you're right-handed, the, the quiver's out, the bow is up. If you're left-handed, the quiver's out, the bow is upside down. So if this was left-handed bow, I'd put it in upside down. The arrows or the broadheads would be pointing down to the ground. If you're right-handed, the arrows would be pointing up. There's different straps and, and different ways to hook this on here. You don't have to have all of them. What you can do is you can bring this one over the top. He's taking that one around the riser. You can take the one single strap that's on the top of the pack right here. You can come around. I like to go somewhere that's going to hold the strap on, hook it in here. Once you have it adjusted and it's for the right, uh, the right bow, you don't have to keep adjusting it. Some, one of the factors on this is going to be, depend on how much stuff you have in your pack. So you're going to suck this down tight and that's going to hold that on that pack, just like that. Carry it in, carry it out in the dark. Um, again, works really well. So this pack has a rifle slash spotting scope pocket. It's got the spotting scope pocket, the tripod pocket, a place for the bow. On the, on the opposite side of the pack, which on my back would be the left side, there's a pocket right here. This pocket is designed for shooting sticks. And if you're a rifle hunter and you like to carry your shooting sticks, you got to be able to get two of those. They'll go through the strap down to this pocket. It stops down in behind this pocket, and it's a great place for shooting sticks. If you have a really small tripod or one of those monopods, it'll work in there too. This pocket right here is for a hunting license, if you want to be able to get to that easy. I actually use that quite a bit for batteries because if my headlight or something, I do a lot of stuff going in and out at the night. If, if my batteries go dead, I want to be able to get to them, so I keep the batteries out here in this pocket. Going to the face on the pack, there's a bungee cord here, and, and what the bungee cord does is it allows you to take this and you pull it out like this, and you can stick your coat down through there, just kind of roll it up, stick it through there, and then you can pull it and it'll pull it tight all the way through so it'll pull your coat on there tight. 
the bungee is used for lots of different stuff. Um, it works pretty darn well and you can adjust it with the, the slide. There's two straps right here that you can hook stuff on here. Um, we try to make it to where whenever, whatever, if you're using, uh, you know, in the, they, they put, they hook snow shovels on here and ice picks. I mean, that's, that's originally what this design came from, but there's other stuff that you can do with this. And maybe let's say you're going to take a deer head and you're going to set his nose down in here and you're going to use these two buckles to go around his horns and you're going to pull that in tight. So there's, there's ways to use these and certain, certain things that'll come up. So you'll want those. The compression straps on the side of the pack, are going to come around with the side release buckles. They're going to pull the pack in tight. You want that. You want it on the bottom as well. A lot of times what happens when guys use their packs, they complain about how everything's in the bottom of the pack. Okay. Well, what if we close the bottom up a little bit so it couldn't get down there? There's compression straps in the bottom of the pack so you can close that up so that keeps the stuff up higher in the pack. So if I have the bottom sucked up and the top sucked up, if I loosen this up and the bottom was tight, I could keep that stuff higher up in my pack. If you're going to carry a sleeping bag, you're not going to carry a huge sleeping bag with this, but you can carry one of the smaller, lightweight, bivy style sacks, and you can put it on the bottom of this pack. Or a hunter style seat, the one that rolls up will go in here, um, and you can run the straps through it, and you can carry a hunter seat on the bottom of this pack. You know, one of the things I like about those straps, Jay, is it adds, gives me added strength when I do put a load of meat in there. Yep. On the inside of the pack, when you open the pack up, I can hold that like that. We've got a, a black bag that'll come out here. That is the spotting scope bag I was telling you about. So that's access from the top. Roll that one back out of the way. The next bag that's going to come out is a water bladder bag. It'll carry up to a three liter water bladder. We don't include it. You can get water bladders anywhere. A lot of you already have them. You might do bicycling and that kind of thing. It's got the pocket. It's, it's completely set up for it. It's got the hole up in the top of the pack right here. It's got the clip for the hose to come up over the shoulder. The clip can be taken off and moved to the left shoulder if you would rather have the hose on the left shoulder than the right shoulder. So behind the spotting scope bag, behind the water blotter bag, you're going to find an H-Tech aluminum frame. This thing has completely changed the way the little aluminum stays worked. Yeah. It's just as light as those two little aluminum solid ones were, and all they had was give this way. They, they had some give this way, and, it, and, and some rigidity to your pack, so your pack felt better on your back. Well, what we figured out is by going to this H-Tech aluminum, you have structural integrity when you twist this thing like this from corner to corner that gives you a platform, and it feels more like an external style frame and gives you rigidity on your back that we didn't have before. And there was a huge difference when we got this switched. Uh, we put it in a real tight pocket, which actually holds that thing down and makes that thing even stronger. So it eliminates any twisting. It does. You know, when you've got the when you got it loaded down with a lot of meat or anything in it, and you start getting into those bad situations, yep. it stops that twisting. And it still has a little flex and give. Where with a, a solid aluminum external frame, you don't have that little bit of flex and give, so that it doesn't the pack doesn't move with you. It doesn't it doesn't feel as comfortable. So there's no reason why you should ever need to take this thing out. Um, you know, you may need to if you feel these the tops of these bars pushing on your back up here, you can take this thing and you can actually bend this a little flatter up here at the top if you got such a long torso that you're getting you're getting pressure up here in the top two corners. So keep that in mind. Goes back in this pocket. Keep it in there. It's a great. It's a great add to the pack. It fits nice and snug, which again that helps give it more structural strength. Everything on the <coughs> shoulder straps has got some real heavy bar tagging. Uh, they sew that thing back and forth two or three places anywhere there's high pressure points. Then in the main compartment of this pack, again 2,000 cubic inches, there's pockets all the way down the inside of this so that you can or organize your stuff again. The stuff that you want to get to, uh, GPS, GPS, batteries, uh, you can put them in these pockets. There's some bigger pockets down here for radios. Put that stuff in these pockets, then your stuff's not flopping all around your pack. Your pack's got all the pack pockets to use them for a reason, so that it's not like a grocery sack. If you organize everything, your pack carries better because the, the weight's distributed better. Extra ammunition. Extra, extra ammunition. Extra broadheads. That's what I put in. Allen wrench. Yep. The stuff that you may or may not need, good place to find it.
Putting that back together on the top of the pack, the one thing that I jumped over the top of is there's a pocket in the top of this pack right here that's got an orange pullout. It's a safety feature. If you're carrying horns and you have the horn strapped on your pack and everything's working good, we want people to know that you're not alive anymore. You're not that animal. You're a human being carrying those. those. So pull this orange thing out and, and put it out over the top of your stuff. Some states require that you have a certain amount of orange. This is, this is so many inches you can figure out. We're not going to say this is enough um, because it's not enough in a lot of those states. So this is an extra piece of orange hunting material. And if you're going through the bushes and there's some kind of chance of somebody thinking you're an animal, pull this thing out. There's some little D-clips down here on the bottom of the pack right here. Hook it in and use it like it's designed to keep you from getting shot. So it's a great feature. That pretty much wraps up the Western. So if you have any questions, again, uh, we're, we're online. We check our email every day. Uh, the, 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 the number, the 1-800 number is 1-800-742-1405. Big man waist belt, shoulder straps fits this pack. We talked about that in the introduction segment. And uh, what do you think? I think we can go on to the next one.